Well, it's no secret that chicken livers are very good catfish bait. The only problem is they don't stay on the hook too good. Now today, I have a special guest, good cousin Jed, a retired catfish guide from Mississippi, here to demonstrate how to keep your chicken livers on the hook. Howdy y'all, I'm Jed, and I'm gonna demonstrate what my humble opinion is the best way to keep chicken livers on the hook. That's right. First of all, you need to get yourself some fresh chicken livers. Some of this bait mesh, I like to use Atlas Spawn Net. Some Atlas Elastic Magic Thread. And you need a pair of scissors or a sharp knife. Well, let me get to demonstrating for you. These here bait mesh come in a variety of colors. Personally, I prefer the blood red or the paint. Well, first you take and cut yourself some of this here bait mesh. Lay it on the plate. Grab yourself some fresh chicken liver. Put a nice chunk up in there. Grab them all four sides and pull them up. Now you got yourself a nice chicken liver sack. You take the, the Atlas Magic Thread, wrap it around, give it a little pull. Wrap it around a few more times, just give it a little pull. No knots required. And now, just trim off the excess, and there you have it. A nice fresh chicken liver sack that will not come off the hook. Now you got to sell some chicken liver sacks tied up. Just take one of the sacks and the hook, nick it down the edge, leave quite a bit of the hook exposed, and there you have it. Well, thank you Cousin Jed for that fine presentation. Hey, you're very welcome, Cousin Road Snake. Alright. Well, that's how we keep our chicken livers on the hook. Tie them up in the liver sacks. You can pick up the Atlas Mike Spawn Net at Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, Gander Mountain, and various other tackle stores. Costs about three bucks a roll. I get enough bait for two trips out of one roll. But if you don't want to spend three bucks, you could always substitute pantyhose or other materials from a craft store similar, but in my opinion, it's not quite as good. I'd rather spend a couple extra bucks and get a good quality bait out of it. Well, thanks for stopping by. Liver on with a bobber, Fish, for some cats. Fishing for some cats. Cast out the old liver sack on a bobber. Better float around out there. What's that? And hopefully we get something to bite. He got a big fish that just, just, just smacked his bobber under, huh? Feel like a big one, dude, huh? That's a big fish, huh? He's running, he's peeling that drag, huh? Big fish, big fish. Mike's been fighting him, what, about at least 10 minutes now. Fighting this fish for about 20 minutes now, 20 minutes into the fight. Big Mike? Oh, dude, that is a monster. Dude, dude, is that, that is a, that is a, dude, that's the biggest catfish you ever, ever hooked at, dude. You might not fit him in that net, dude. Oh, oh you got him? Oh, man. <laughs> right now, man. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know if you are going to get him in, huh? Oh. God. That's what the ones that make you sweat, huh? Oh, man. 26. 26 pound channel cat. It's a massive, huge, massively massive catfish. That is a huge fish, dude. All right, man. Let's get a couple pictures, let him go. Okay, let him go. There he goes. See ya. That's a 40 inch catfish heading back out on the Lake Erie to do his thing. I got the chicken lever out. Whoa, whoa, he's fighting hard. Dude, dude, look at this. 18 pound channel cat, Mike. That's heavy, man. <laughs> okay, shut down. How was that? 